Hi my beauties and welcome back. For this DIY I am doing an Easter wreath and with that being said let me not waste any more time and let's get started. Alright so starting off for this DIY you need a wreath and I this wreath is from Dollar Tree that it comes in two packs two of these wreaths and I decided to cut it apart to make the bunny since it does come with several circles and so I just cut that off with some wire cutters some heavy-duty wire cutters and I am shaping them to the size that I want them and then I am going in with some tape and taping those together to close the hole the reason why i did end up also cutting them was because i did want to make them a little bit smaller as you can see here that's why i'm kind of like still messing with them and tweaking them a little bit because i do want this to be a small bunny wreath and i was inspired from the one from target's bullseye bunny wreath that i saw and i already know i had everything at home to make this and the plus side is that you can always do it to your style your theme of decor so that's always a plus but anyways guys i did also end up hot gluing that once i finished taping them to close them off i did hot glue them and i did go heavy in with the glue just so i could make sure that it would stay secure and i also ended up adding some wire around that area so that way i knew it was going to be secure and once that was hot glued on there i am going in with some foam board and drawing some ears some bunny ears and i am freehanding them and so then i'm gonna go in with my exacto knife and cut them cut the first set of ear and then trace that one to get them to be the exact same and so once i have those cut out i will just be hot gluing them and you want to be careful with these they are a bit flimsy but i will just be hot gluing them onto the wires and letting those dry and now for the fun part which is picking out the floral and just how you're gonna decorate it and i decided to go with these that i already had i have a lot of floral guys by the way so these are just floral that i had that sometimes people give me family members give me and so i kept these because they were um just plain greenery and i am going ahead and using these and I did, take, I did end up taking them off from the stems because I just want the floral. And I am going in with some wire and wrapping it around. As you can see here, and I'm just going pieces by pieces and just adding whatever pleases me. There's no wrong or right way to do this, but just add as much as I can. I did try to get this, this I did try to get this wreath as full as I could, so I try to use as much greenery as I had on hand. And so yeah, I'm simply just going to go ahead and add the floral and then just wrap it with the wire all around the circle as well as for the head. And like I mentioned before, I did go ahead and add more wire to that centerpiece where I did hot glue it just to make it a little bit more secure that way it doesn't bend over the years. I also did go back in and hot glue some pieces where I felt that I didn't really make them as full. And so once I was done with the bottom part of the circle, I am moving up to the top and I was trying to be super careful around the years once I was wrapping the wire because it is foam board again so it could break and it did so I had to go back in and glue it but once I did I was trying to be super careful so just letting you know if you'll end up doing this and using foam board for the ears I actually think I should have waited to add the ears just to make it easier once you are wrapping the floral onto the wreath but this is why I'm here, that way you yeah, can learn from my mistakes. All right, so once I was done with the wreath and adding all the greenery, as you can see here, this is how it turned out. You can leave it like this, but I did decide to add more florals and I, I ended up going in with these lavender flowers from Dollar Tree and I just took them off the stems because I did want to add more white tones to the wreath. I think it would also look very pretty with baby breaths flowers. I could just imagine it. It would also be pretty, but I had these on hand as well. So this is, this is what I ended up using to keep it simple, to just give it that little pop with the greenery in the background. And I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue them. And since I didn't have a lot of these, I did have to stretch them out a little bit. And if you are wondering, these are actually spring florals from Dollar Tree. So I'm pretty sure they have them out right now. And because I didn't have a lot of bundles of the lavender ones, I actually did go buy some more. I Just two more. Um, so in total, I ended up using five to cover this wreath. You can always use more to make it fuller. I also did end up covering the ears with two of these florals for each ear. 
and that wraps up this diy thank you so much for staying until the end of the video let me know in the comments below what you think about this wreath i love hearing back from you guys and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate all of the love and support y'all give me and i will see you next time